Hey guys, um, welcome to the Steven Bomb, episode three, keeping it together. What did I just watch? Okay, let's just start from the beginning. We are looking for Peridot. Peridot is still a thing that's happening. Let me, give it, let me get it together, get it together. Okay, 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 okay. So we sit down, fold some clothes. We pretty much bring up the fact that Garnet is a fusion, and you know, Steven's trying to get her to unfuse to meet Sapphire and Ruby again, which it's cute. I love it. Go for it. But then they say, okay, we need to go find out where Peridot is. And they say, okay, she has to be in kindergarten. Crystal Gems, let's go. And Steven sits there, just like, fold the clothes, okay, well, they do their thing. And Garnet starts like, hey, let's go. I was like, yes. They treat him as a gem. He is no longer just Steven and the Crystal Gems, and he is an actual Crystal Gem. They they treat him as such. And that is amazing character development to show that, you know, Steven is no longer just this little kid who's just there. He is actually part of the team. So, kudos on that. So, they go to kindergarten to go find Peridot. They all split up. Steven goes about his only way, and, of course, he he's the one who runs into Peridot. <laughs> And she's busy making logs about a fusion experiment and stopped to have a funny moment with Steven. He's like, what? Are they here with you? Steven goes, yeah, they're here. And of course, they come in and everyone attacks Peridot. And Peridot apparently does not, is not a very offensive gym. Because she just runs straight up. And she actually runs up a wall, which is kind of cool. And everyone says, like, hey, that's not fair. She could do that. Pearl throws her spear and gets her down. And they just start trying to capture her. And it's funny. She runs away by turning her little fingers into a helicopter. and just flies away. And Amethyst and Pearl go straight after her. And as Steve's about to go and say, wait. Garnet goes, wait a second. She was here for a reason. We need to find out why she was here. Because kindergarten's not activated. Like, she's been here this entire time, but kindergarten isn't on. So why was she here? Pause. So then we go back down to where kindergarten's main core is, where we first met Peridot. And we find some stone pillars that are just really weird. And Garden wants to find out what's going on, what's going on. And then the weirdest thing happens. A hand falls. But it's not a regular hand. It's a hand attached to a foot. They break it and they find out that they are experimenting with gem shards and seeing if they could force them to fuse. And it, like, it freaks Garnet out. She straight up like looks at the thing, drops it, and like freaks out. Don't touch it. I don't want to deal with it. A gem... Forced fusion out of shards comes out of this pillar, and it first first starts forming like five different gems. Comes like, oh cool, more gems. Then it mutates and messes up and goes into this giant hand monster. When I mean hand monster, I mean it's a hand monster that's made out of arms. And Garnet is just stuck. Like there's this really really weird reaction face she has, which you've never seen her react this way. You know, you've seen her mad, you've seen her. A little bit happy and ecstatic, but this is like a terror face in her. And she's being attacked by this forced fusion. And Steven's like trying to protect her because while that thing is trying to attack her, all these little bitty other failed fusions start coming after them. And Steven summons his shield. Let's see if we can summon his shield on point. Yes! Um, it's just batting away. It's like, Garnet, what's going on? And like, she is stuck being attacked by this thing. Like, not moving. It's like, they forced them to do this. They didn't have a choice. They made them this way. This is what Homeworld thinks about fusion. And she starts losing it. And Steven says, Garnet! And all of a sudden, Garnet turns to light. And starts separating. She starts separating from herself. Ruby and Sapphire about to come up there. And I don't think Ruby and Sapphire can handle this right now. And Steven being Steven, because Steven is Steven, gets together and is like, Garnet, this isn't like you! Pull yourself together. Blam, like, wait, I have Garnet. I'm not Ruby and Sapphire. Punches it, gets everything safe, and has the 
the the the, the fragmented jewel fusion and I swear, like, even though they just refused again, Sapphire and Ruby are talking to each other through Garnet. Because you can see one side of her face as, uh, as Sapphire, the other side of her face is Ruby. And they're like, this is what they think of us. I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they did this. They're people. They can't believe they did this. Garnet, are you okay? Like, that is the theme of this episode is Garnet, are you okay? She eventually snaps it, snaps into it. Amethyst and Pearl come down and say, hey, what's going on? We, we lost Peridot. And he said, bubble these things, take them home. We're not leaving them here. They don't even know what it is. They even freak out like, oh, what the hell is this? Put it down, bubble it, and send it home. We're not leaving it here. And the episode ends with Steven doing his laundry again and finds Garnet right there contemplating. And she's just sitting there like, yo. <laughs> really cool, calm, cool, and collected. And like, Stephen and Ash, like, you know, I don't think this is connected to anything. How's my washing do anything? Because his washing machine is on the hand of the statue or the house they live in. And it's a question of, wait, if it's all the way up there, how do they have plumbing? How does it work? And Stephen and Ash, like, how did this thing even work? She just goes, magic. I swear, she actually goes, magic. Garden is so cute now. It's like, she's so feisty and more... She emotes now, and, like, it's good to have that character who doesn't talk a lot, but it's great to have that character start coming out of their shell and start talking and making jokes, and she is hilarious now. And he even starts talking, like, you know, what we saw, I don't know what's going on, and it's like, she tells, like, what they did was wrong. Those gems didn't have consent. They didn't have anything. They didn't have a choice in it, man. They just forced it. I can't believe it. Like, it is... They are focusing this episode on consent, which is a really interesting thing. Like, they do a lot of heavy episodes featuring Garnet's relationship because they said Garnet is a amalgamation of their love, of the love for Ruby and Sapphire. And there's a lot of consent when it comes to fusion because you have to force, you're making yourself one person. And that's a lot of choice between two people. That's just how love actually is. She is literally love. And to see it perverted like that, to, to be forced into something like that, it just knocked with her a bit. But she said, like, I am love, but I have you guys, and we'll get through it. We'll be we'll get, get through it. And we end on a very, very cute note of, like, him about to lose his sock, and she's, like, catching this, like, don't worry, you don't ever want to lose the pair. And the pair is a red and blue sock, and it's ruby and sapphire. Like, that's, that's so cute. Oh, my God, this... This episode, it, it, it went from, of course, the very cute, cutesy thing of everyone folding clothes and being done to all of a sudden getting real serious because even when Peridot showed up, like, it was still kind of funny how she was trying to escape because she was not trying to fight at all. Like, I don't think she knows how to fight at, at all. Her running up the thing, her uh, taking Amethyst's whip and electrifying it and then fucking flying away with her own hands. That was hilarious. But as soon as they got down to the bottom floor of the kindergarten of the kindergarten thing, it just went completely crazy because Garnet is that strong character. And to see that strong character freak out and start losing it, to have so many episodes of this and then to see that happen, it took everything to a weird way. And especially those forced fusions, like a lot of them weren't complete. They were really are just hands connected to the feet and hands next to hands and just limbs so it's it was really really creepy and then you get the backstory of of a past episode then you get the backstory of a past episode pretty much showing that those shards that they had to collect in um secret society or secret group that those shards that they were collecting were actually gems those were gems that were destroyed during the war and they're trying to collect them all to give them a proper burial but instead of letting that happen, the home world wants to fuse them and start doing all this crap to them. Like, they're not making the home world appealing at all. They're the reason why they left, and it is a very good one. I don't know, this episode, guys, it, it was really deep and really heart-wrenching at times, too. And really, really creepy. I don't like those limb things. But... I enjoyed it so much. I give it high praise because 
we dealt with a very, very serious issue when it comes to consent and what love is. And I hope the next episode is just as great because it deals with uh, Greg. And, you know, any type of story we have with Greg always is a, um, a past story. So I'm looking forward to that because that's all Greg is for. He's there to tell the past about what happened beforehand. So here's hoping. Anyway, this has been Judge B for day three of the Steven Bar. I hope you guys come in for the next episode, uh, which deals with Greg. So, hope you guys like the show. Um, this is Judge B for the Epically Real.